boys and girls. This week, we're going to go ahead and learn all about Wayne Theobud. Who's Wayne Theobud? Well, Wayne Theobud is our desserts artist. Let me ask you this question. Let's look at this beautiful art piece here with many desserts. Do you like desserts? I hope you said yes, because we're going to go ahead and we're going to learn all about Wayne Theobud and his artwork. And we're also going to learn how to create our very own artwork inspired by these dessert art pieces. So let's look at a little bit of a brief biography of Wayne Theobud. A biography is when like facts or a story about someone's life. So Wayne Theobud was born in 1920 in Mesa, Arizona, and he grew up though in California. Those are two different states. He worked for Walt Disney as an in-betweener cartoonist and he did that during the summer in 1942 all the way to 1945 he worked for the first motion picture unit of the u.s army of air forces and he attended the san jose state college in 1949 that's in california now in 1960 he began teaching at the sacramento city college he was a teacher in 1960, he also had his first solo, that means an art show that is on his own, at the San Francisco Museum of Modern Art. In 1961, he met someone very important, an art dealer named Alan Stone. Alan Stone recognizes Thea Bud's talent, which leads out to a sold out show in New York City. And then he was very successful after that art show. In 1962, he included the new paintings of Common Objects show. And in 1994, he received the National Medal of Arts from President Clinton. 2001, he received a Lifetime Achievement Award from the American Academy of Design. In Wayne Theobud's artwork, we see basic shapes and repetition. That means when you see an object more than once, and you can see that here, look at the rows of cake that are repeating, right? The, the sandia or watermelon, right? And we have other things here as well, other desserts. They have strong outlines and horizontal lines. Remember, horizontal lines are lines that go across our page. He also has strong shadows. Shadows are when there's the absence of light on one side because an object is blocking it, right? Let's pretend the sun is here on the right and the, there is no sun on this side, so that's why you see a shadow. His favorite subjects, he loved to paint lipstick, desserts, toilets, landscapes, and gumball machines. It's also included all of this. Let's look at what we've noticed about this artwork. Remember, I mentioned that he adds shadows. There's repetition. That means you see things happening over and over again. Right? We also have lines. We see spirals, wavy lines, diagonal lines, and so forth. Let's look at this art piece. What do you notice about this one? I notice, again, repetition, shadows, outlines, and there's texture too that he created with the paint. He liked to add a lot of thick paint to his artwork. Oh, look at all these yummy desserts. And let's see what we think about all this. Think about it. Do you see a shadow? Outlines? Is the shape? Is there something about the shapes that you notice? Right? What kind of shapes do you see? What kind of lines do you see? here too. Look at that. Three gumball machines with very strong shadows. 
that are being casted and they repeat themselves and also horizontal lines. Let's look at this one. This art piece is going to inspire our art piece of this week. They're ice cream cones, right? With very strong shadows. And we notice that they repeat themselves over and over again. This is Wayne Theobud. He is alive this day. He is 100 years old and he still creates art. And also he still lives in California. If you have any final thoughts or questions, make sure you save those for Zoom on Wednesday so that you can go ahead and ask me those questions or if you want to share something really exciting that you noticed about his artwork. All right, so we're all done learning a little bit about Wayne Theobud. Now let's go ahead and get into the super awesome interactive part, which is drawing together. So make sure you go ahead and pay attention to the instructions that I give there. If you have any questions, I'm always available on Zoom or Google Classroom. Hey, boys and girls. So let's go ahead and get started drawing our Winky Abud ice cream cones. So what you're going to need to go ahead and make sure you have is, as always, a pencil and a piece of paper. You want to make sure that you also have an eraser on hand if you need it. So that way you can erase any little mistakes that you make and you can go ahead and fix them as you please. You also want to go ahead and make sure that you have something to color with. It could be markers, colored pencils, crayons, or paint. I would really suggest paint for this project. But if you don't have paint, you can use crayons, colored pencils, or markers. Of course, in that set of markers, you want to make sure you have a black marker because you're going to need it to trace. We'll go ahead and talk about that in a moment. But now we're going to go ahead and get started with our drawing. So what you want to go ahead and do, you're going to start off by making three triangles. And this is about how big they need to be. They don't want to be very, you don't, they can't be very small or very large because then we need enough space to make the scoops on the ice cream cones. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to draw three triangles. I'm going to start off by drawing a line, second line, and my third line. All right. Now, this is going to help me so I can know how much space to leave in between because I want to make sure I take advantage of all the space I have on my paper. Next, I'm going to go ahead and close up my triangles by doing this. My triangles are my ice cream cones. I always like to say letter V, right? See, if I draw very lightly, I'm able to go back and erase lines that I want to change to look a little differently. So you want to make sure you're not pressing very hard on your pencil. All right, there's my three ice cream cones. Now I wanna go ahead and now make the ice cream scoops themselves. So watch this. I'm gonna go ahead and draw a nice curved line on top of each cone. All right. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add another set of curved lines. Look like letter C's on the end of right here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and close up my ice cream scoop. So I'm gonna do a curved line like this. It's okay if it's not even, that is perfectly fine because everyone's is going to be very different and unique. Now, the next thing I'm going to go ahead and add is I'm going to go ahead and add another ice cream scoop. So I'm going to repeat the same thing I did down here. You're going to notice that it overlaps. All 
Okay, now we're all done. So there's some lines that I need to erase and I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. I'm gonna take my eraser. All right, boys and girls, so I've erased my lines. You can see there's no more lines inside. They don't belong there, I erased them. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do one of the last steps on my ice cream cone itself before I begin coloring. And that is that I'm going to go ahead and make some diagonal lines going one way. And if you've ever seen a waffle cone when you're eating ice cream, these are the little patterns that are inside of the ice cream cone itself. Now I'm going to go in another direction, diagonal. See? Let's go ahead and create that pattern again. One more time. All right, and we're done with our Wayne Dia Bud ice cream cones. Now, we're done with our drawing. Let's make some observations before we continue. That means let's see what we notice about our paint or our drawing, right? Not our painting. Can be if you want to paint. All right, so we're going to notice there's repetition. That means you see things more than once. Sometimes it's a pattern. One, two, three. Three ice cream cones and they each have the same pattern and they each have the same amount of scoops on top. So we wanna make sure that we follow that, okay? We wanna create repetition because that's what Wayne Diabud did in his own artwork. So we wanna go ahead and do the same thing here with our own artwork. Of course, everybody's drawing is gonna look different and that's the very great part about this. Everyone's artwork is gonna be different but beautiful. So make sure you take your time and that you also go ahead and enjoy your time drawing, okay? Boys and girls, before we continue, we're going to go ahead and trace everything that we've drawn with our black marker. It could be a Sharpie or it could be something different. It could be just a regular black Crayola marker. You can use whatever you have on hand, all right? So we're going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to trace and then we're going to continue. All right, boys and girls, so I have my ice cream cones and my ice cream scoops all drawn out. They're all traced and I'm ready to color. Now to color, I wanna go ahead and do the following. We've repeated the ice cream cone more than once, right? One, two, three times we've repeated it. Now what I want you to know for the ice cream itself and the cones is very simple, okay? So for the cones, we're gonna color them brown or a beige. And then for the scoops, that's where you get to have fun and decide what flavor it goes where. Maybe one has sprinkles, maybe one doesn't. Or maybe when both on one ice cream cone, you have chocolate only, or you'll have chocolate and vanilla. It's up to you, okay? Or you may create your own different kind of ice cream that you may not see, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and begin coloring. I'm gonna color once, and then I'm gonna show you one last step after I color here, okay? And it's something very important that's gonna complete our Wayne Bud inspired ice cream cones, all right? So let's go ahead and get started with the coloring. So let's go ahead and get started with the next step that I said you were going to have after you were finished coloring all your ice cream cones. 
So now what you're gonna go ahead and do is you're gonna create a shadow. What is a shadow? Well, a shadow is a dark image cast on a surface by a person or a thing when something is blocking the light. Okay, you must have a light source like the sun or even the light in a room to create a shadow. As you can see, as I place my hand down close to the paper, you see that little outline, that dark outline? That's the shadow of my hand. So you're going to go ahead and do the same thing here with your ice cream cones. We're going to pretend that the light is over here. Let's pretend there's a nice big sun over here. All right. And we want to make sure that we can see the shadow of our ice cream cones. So not only is there going to be a shadow here on the surface where the ice cream cones are, but also on the ice cream cone itself. So that means we're going to need to make it darker on this side of the ice cream cone. And here is the shadow. All right. So let's go ahead and do that together. All right. So now you have ice cream cones with a shadow here and on the surface that they're on so you're going to notice something here i used the color black to make my shadow but on the ice cream cone i used the color brown right and i added a little bit of shadow to my ice cream scoops as well and all I, all I did to do that was I used a color that was a little bit darker than the one I used before. But the most important part of it is to create the shadow here on the floor and here on the ice cream cone. So remember on the floor it's black and on the ice cream cone itself it is brown. And then when you're all done, you take a nice photo of your work and you turn it in. All right, if you're here on campus, Make sure that you're doing your best to keep up with your work. And I'll ask your exit ticket question of the week this week by tomorrow to make sure that you've already seen the lesson and that you're ready to go. All right. I hope you enjoyed this project and learning about Wayne Theobud and all of the beautiful artwork that he created. And I hope you enjoyed making your own amazing artwork as well. We'll see you all next time. Bye.